Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and do you have a psoas? I'd like to think so. And it is true, if you've ever read anywhere, that having a sore psoas can give you a psoas. <laughs> So how do we fix that? We're going to give you two different variations, guys, that you can use to stretch your psoas. So the very first one is going to be a beginner level. You just lie down on the floor. How good is that? Just have a lie down. It's great. So what we're going to do is lean our legs over to the side here. And Jenny is gradually going to start to open up the front of her hip as much as she can. She can push that foot back a little bit. And she thinks about reaching with her knee away from her own body as far as she can, as if her knee's scared of her and is trying to run away. And then with her arm, she can really dramatically go, oh, like that there as if she's just been told by the prince that he won't marry her <laughs> and then she's going to reach as far as she absolutely can and she's trying to keep mess messing around with this position okay so have a wiggle here move yourself around really try and get that stretch in and around the front here so it's not just enough to stretch the quads and the hip flexors themselves you want to open up the front here so stretch your anterior do both sides push that hip forward as much as you can adjust your foot position reach with the knee reach with the arm and feel different to everybody how they do this spend a bit of time in this position just changing from side to side so do it until you feel like you've made a nice change then hop yourself up and see if you feel any different whenever you do that so that is your beginner level variation for stretching your psoas Level two is going to be a bit more advanced. What we're going to do is sit as deep down into a lunge as we can. So make sure your hips are well warmed up before you do this. You're going to rest your shin on the ground, your knee on the ground, and you're going to plant her, your back foot. So you're going to point the toes, okay? So you're not looking to hold yourself up with the back leg. You're then sinking into the hips as much as you can into the front leg. Then on that same side as the front leg, you put your hand down at the side, and then you again reach your hand up like dramatic Cinderella and go, ah! Oh! and just reach yourself away as far as you can. Make sure you make it nice and dramatic. This is also quite um, Instagram worthy as well. So get your friend to take your Instagram shot. It looks quite nice whenever you post it. Make sure the background's nice and blurry. Then from there, you just keep trying to reach. You keep trying to open up from the front, okay? So squeeze your bum, lean yourself back, deep breath in as you breathe out, try and sink yourself back that little bit further. Then. Change sides, always make sure you do both sides. If you find this too hard um, to do, you actually reach the floor to reach over the side there, it is something that you want to work on just to loosen up the sides a little bit. So you could put like a couple of plates down underneath here, a couple of books stacking down, just try and rest your hand on that to reach yourself away just to decrease how far you're having to um, reach down but over time ideally you want to be able to get the hand down beside yourself and then just like I said reach yourself away keep reaching keep breathing keep relaxing stretch your front and it can save your back a lot of issues okay so if you're always hunched over and you're always doing a ton of sit-ups and you have a desk job and all that stuff you're just gradually starting to do this so stretching and opening up the psoas is going to make everything sit better it's going to make everything feel better and it's going to put a lot less pressure on your back so give these two variations a go and make sure you definitely try the first one first and then try the second one see how you get on but over time if you're struggling with it or your flexibility is lacking, make sure you try and improve your flexibility a little bit and try and get that co-position. Cool okay, guys?